TSP proclaims to be the original duck and siding cleaner and today we're going to put that to the test. I'm here in northern Michigan and we had a gypsy moth invasion this spring. The caterpillars, before they turned to moths, gobbled up the oak trees that are just above me and they littered my deck with feces. It is stained, it's nasty, and I am hopeful that this will clean it. We're going to mix it the way that they say to mix it and see what we get. Hi everybody, I'm Jim Deardorff and this is Detroit DIY. Let's get this stuff mixed up. If you would like to get your hands on an awesome shirt like this, just go down in the description and there'll be a link there right to the store where you can get one for yourself. The TSP says to mix one cup of TSP to three quarts of water with one quart of bleach. But it's not just any bleach. You want to get the Clorox or another brand that has, it's for outdoor use. And you can get this at the big box stores. You can find it where all the cleaning stuff is. Um, don't know exactly what the difference is between this and regular bleach, but there must be a difference. So what we're going to do is we're going to make 24 ounces. A fluid cup is 8 ounces, so I'm not putting TSP in anything that I'm going to use in the house or measure with because this is not something you want to ingest. So I'm just going to say 24 ounces dry in the bucket. Then I have 9 quarts of hot water. That's going in the bucket. It says warm. It's been in here for a little bit, so it's, it's warm. We'll dump that in. And oh yeah, I went and put some grungy clothes on because I'm going to be messing with bleach. And this is actually 2.53 quarts, so it's going to be a half a quart short on this, but I'm not so worried about it. I think we'll be just fine. So I'm going to put this entire container in. Just like that. And we are ready to go. I'm going to be using this to apply it, scrub it a little bit. And I'm going to do like a quarter of a section of the deck here at a time, I believe. Something like that. There's not too much sun right now, so I'm hopeful that it doesn't dry up before I can get back to it and rinse it off. I'm just going to give it a little stir up here get started, make sure everything is mixed well, dissolved. I don't think I'm going to be able to do as big a section as I had hoped. It's already starting to dry up a little bit and I don't want it to dry on there. So I'm going to go over this one more time and then rinse it.
As you can see, it's brightening the wood, but I'm not so sure about if it's removing the stains. Let me find a spot here that's stained up pretty bad. Right there. There was about, I don't know, an eighth inch of what appeared to be mud that was the feces from those caterpillars on this deck. When I rinsed it off, there was just a lot of this left behind. And I want to seal it um, with Thompson's water seal, but I certainly don't want to seal it like this. So I'm going to keep cleaning and we'll see what we get. It's a hot one today, guys. I've decided to let this sit on here a little bit. Um, I went ahead and done about half of the deck and the part that I rinsed, I went over it again. It seems to be removing the stains that I'm dealing with much better by leaving it for a few minutes. So I'm going to let it sit there for a few minutes and then I'm going to rinse it off. And some of you might be thinking, why don't you just pressure wash it? And here's why I don't want to. A pressure washer lifts the grain of the wood. It fuzzes it and it never goes back to what it was. I don't want to paint this. I don't want to stain it. I want to leave it natural. So I'd rather take a little bit of time and clean it like this with just the pressure of a hose and not lift the grain and not fuzz the wood and not have those issues. So that's why I'm not hitting it with a pressure washer. I'm going to rinse off where I started and then I'm going to let this side over here sit just a little bit longer before I rinse it. I've finished about half of the deck here, at least this big part, and you can it's pretty obvious to see what's been done and what hasn't. And then that really, really bad spot that I showed you, I don't know, was about right there. And it's cleaned it up really nice. Um, I don't really see anything of it. So all the staining looks like it's gone. Everything looks like it's gone. I'm pretty happy with it. But you can see there's a big difference between what's been done and what hasn't. It's been about 24 hours since I finished cleaning the deck. I've rinsed it twice. I'm pretty happy with the results, obviously, because there was bleach involved that mixed with the TSP. We have lightened the wood a little bit. Let's take a look at the spot that I showed you where all that bad staining was. Is right there. And as you can see, there is still some staining that exists. And there's some staining in a few places on the surface of the deck there's just not a lot that can be done about it. I mean, it really needed a miracle after what happened to it. It's a shame that it had to happen, but it, it did. And I mean, all in all, I'm happy with it. I am uh, good enough with it to get a sealer on it. And that's what's important to me. The walkway cleaned up good. I got a bucket here catching some water from the air conditioner. I still have some staining along here. I've scrubbed it real good. It's just not going to come out. I don't even think pressure washing it would get it out. Obviously, you can see the difference between the old decking boards on the porch and the new on the deck. All in all, I'm pretty happy with how the TSP worked. Yes, the per instructions, you mix some bleach with it, which I knew was going to lighten the wood a little bit, which is kind of a shame because the wood had a nice rich texture to it before all of this happened in the first place so there's nothing i can really do about that other than wish i would have sealed it before the gypsy moth invasion ruined my deck surface basically so i'm pretty happy with this and uh pretty happy with how it cleaned it up i'm hopeful that the thompson's water seal might just give a little bit of depth back a little darkness i'm not so sure but we'll see I'd like to thank you for watching. Make sure you go down in the description of the video. Click on the link to get you one of these amazing shirts. Leave me in your comments what you think about the TSP and how it did. If you enjoyed yourself, click on one of those two videos. They're going to pop up right there. And we'll see you soon.